For Pershing, the challenges in France were monumental. He had the task of shaping and training an army force, which in a year and a half would expand to two million men. Pershing firmly believed that three qualities were necessary for Allied victory, an offensive spirit, mobility on the battlefield, and effective use of individual weapons. He trained his growing army in these principles, despite the elaborate system of trench defense in which the Western Front had been paralyzed. Marshal Foch decided the time was ripe for one great coordinated Allied offensive. The AEF's first assignment was to be the reduction of the saint Miel salient, a projection 16 miles into the Allied line below Verdun, which the Germans had held for four years and which hampered lateral communications along the battlefront. The saint Miel offensive, which began on September 12th, was the first operation in the war carried out by a complete American army under the separate and independent control of General Pershing. It was a striking success. In two days, the Yanks took their objectives and the salient was reduced.